Okay, this is the 17th session. It's structures we are going to take up now. Introduction of structures. We call structures as an user-defined data type or secondary data type. A structure is nothing but collection of different data type elements. It provides a meaning of grouping variables under a single name for easier handling and identification. We call data structure as user-defined data type or secondary data type, whereas normal integer, float and character are primary data types or predefined data types. Coming to how to define a structure. To define the structure, we use a keyword called struct. If you, if you type it struct, it will be highlighted. So this is the keyword what we are going to use now. Struct and the structure name, let that be demo for instance. And open and close brace along with a semicolon at the end. Semicolon at the end. In between, we can go for saying our own primary data types. Example for struct, struct some student name and roll number, car name and all those things. Like for example, I need integer age, float fee and car name of around 10. So this is a structure now. We have defined a structure with name demo. So place certain things as you need. Accessing the structure members, we can access the members of a structure by using the dot membership operator that is structure variable dot member name s1 dot rno. So in main, now say demo d. When you say d dot h, you are accessing it. This is what accessing means. Array of structures that will take up before an example. First we'll see for an example now. Now we have created an instance of D. Now I'll scan if percent D, percent F and percent S along with saying D dot ampersand d dot h comma ampersand d dot fee comma ampersand d dot name likewise printf percent d percent f percent s comma d dot h comma d dot fee comma d dot name execute run the program now run the program it expects me to enter let the edge be 10 fee 200 and name this will be displayed on the screen as it is. So this is how a structure works. Now D is a user defined data type which can accept integer float and character as you have placed all these predefined data types in the demo. Now if you go for this is how array works. So use a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus let it be 3 for our convenience sake. Scan all the values and say D of i i and i. Likewise for i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus and print it D of i and D of i and D of i. Uh, define the symbol i int i. Now say 10 
200 and triple A is the name of the first candidate. Second candidate 20. Sorry, execute once again and give the related values which is 10, 100 and A is the name of the first candidate. Next one is 20, 200 and B is the th second candidate. Likewise, 30 and 300 and C is the name of the third candidate which is printed on the screen. So this is how we can go for structure and arrays as well. This is the structure, struct student S of 25 and this is how we refer along with the dot operator. In an array of structure or elements of the array are stored in adjacent memory locations. So this is about the basic introduction of structures. In the next session we'll go for remaining part topics like structures and function, dynamic memory allocation and structures as well.